The word of the day here is macrocephaly, which means a large head. Such a scene in this baby. The average head circumference for a newborn is about 35 centimeters, and in this baby it's likely over 40 centimeters. What can cause this? Well, the most common reason will be hydrocephalus. That's a collection of fluid within the brain causing pressure to cause the head to grow faster than it should. There are many causes for this, but we're gonna talk about one. One of the causes can be bleeding within the brain as we see sometimes in premature babies who will have blood in the ventricular system. That's the fluid filled system of the brain. I don't know exactly what happened to the baby in this video, but my guess is it might be this diagnosis, aqueductal stenosis. The brain is not solid. It has liquid within chambers, the lateral ventricles, the third ventricle, and the fourth ventricle. The third ventricle is connected to the fourth ventricle by a passage called the aqueduct of Sylvius. In some babies, this aqueduct is too narrow. And think of it like a sink that's partially blocked. Fluid can't go from the third to the fourth ventricle. So it builds up in those lateral ventricles, which are the biggest ventricles in the brain, and that causes the brain to swell. Luckily for these babies, there is a surgical procedure involving placement of a tube into the lateral ventricle called a ventriculoperitoneal shunt, which alleviates the pressure. There are, of course, other causes of hydrocephalus in the newborn, such as infection, and also, as I mentioned, bleeding within the ventricles. Your doctor will certainly look for the cause and get to finding a treatment.